Hey guys, um, this is PS360 HD2, and um, I want to do a new series that I'm about to start called um, PS360 HD2 Speaks. Um, it will be in general about Storm 3 and whatnot and the upcoming information, but um, but yeah, uh, let's get into it. I want to talk about a few things today. Number one, there is a new interview making its rounds on the internet today for Storm 3. And it had a lot of interesting um, questions and, and replies to the interview. And um, one key thing I want to talk about real quick is the fact that Storm 3 has been in development for almost three years now. Now, a lot of people was worried because they're saying, already, oh my god, Generations just came out a couple months ago. And Storm 3 is already coming out? Oh no, the world's gonna end. Like I was trying to tell those guys, more likely than not, they split their development team into two groups. One worked on Generations, one worked on Storm 3. Generations was really a copy and paste game. They didn't really have to do much. Um, Sh Sh Shushia, or whatever they call the, um, the, an the company that um, draws the anime, um, they did most of the cutscenes and whatnot. So all Cyber Connect 2 really had to do was copy and paste and, you know, just not hard work. So Generations didn't, wasn't that hard to put together. And this is what people wasn't understanding from the start. So um, so this is very good news. Um, it won't be a rush game. They've been developing it for almost three years now. So, um, so yeah, that's a very good, um, that, that's very good. That's very good information right there. Alright, the second thing I want to talk about today... Um, I had this in my last video, but I, um, I didn't really talk about it too much, and I want to expand on it in this video because I've been getting a lot of comments about it and people crying and complaining about it. Um, that's the fact that there will be no PTS characters in Storm 3. Now, here's why this is a good thing, right? I was on Namco Bandai Europe today, and I was reading the, um, the press release for Naruto Storm 3. And I've noticed this little insert right here. It says that, um, hold on, let me pull it up real quick. It says that, um, Naruto Storm 3 will feature the most extensive character roster of any game so far in the series. Now, think about that. Um, Generations had about 72 playable characters, and, um, I believe around 16 characters were PTS characters that needed to be removed so that's about 57 or 54 50 something characters um that will probably make it over in the storm 3 now mind you that only opens up more slots for no characters so why are people trying to complain about irrelevant part 1 characters that we don't really need if you want part 1 characters so bad you have generations if you didn't buy generations Wait till later this year. Buy it for cheap. You know what I'm saying? But why complain? Um, so if we have 50 characters that's gonna make it over in the Storm 3, we can at least expect um at least um over 20, 30 new characters. That's just based on the minus factor of the PTS characters. And I, I'm pretty sure there'll be even more. So to me, I, I'm excited about this. I don't need um pts characters i don't need kid rock lee i don't need kid 1010 spamming up the online like i don't need these things so um so i'm for one i i for one am happy about that all right the third thing i want to talk about is is um something that came out of the new interview today uh he stated that they they have new modes um so here's here's um what i want to bring up Remember that video about the rumor I brought up with the online survey? And they talked about um, 3 versus 3 and all these different things? What if the new mode he is talking about is 3 versus 3? Let's ponder that for a second. Tag Team 3 versus 3 online. Um, wait, he also stated in the interview that uh, he wants to expand the online portion of the game as well to make, make it have more replay value. So if you, could, if you put these two things together, um, also with the online survey, I mean, it kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say that it's pointing to tag team, 3 versus 3, but at this point, it's highly likely. So, um, man, that would be awesome for 3 versus 3, 2 versus 2, 
tag team. So yeah, I can't wait to hear more about that. And um, this this fourth point that I wanted to make, um, I've been seeing a lot of this. I'm surprised that we're in 2012 and it's still all this console bullshit going on between just gamers in general. This shit is sad. Like, um, I can't tell you how many times. I've read the comment, oh, this game should have been PS3 only, uh, Xbox 360 completely fucked up the Storm series, it's like, oh my god. <sighs> why, why do people think that? Like, realistically, this, I, I haven't seen one comment that, I mean, just, just made any sense that about, um, Xbox 360 limiting the Storm series. No, it's it's actually mind blowing. That's why I'm so flustered because I don't get it. It's mind blowing. Um, I mean, there's multiplayer games like Skyrim. Skyrim is freaking huge, and it has no problem running on both systems. If if L Xbox 360 can run Skyrim and PS3 can run Skyrim, then I have no doubt in my mind that both systems should be able to run Storm at the same quality level. So all this old, they they took out clashes and they scaled back the long jutsus because of Xbox. No, you idiots. They did that because of online. And CC2 has actually explained this in several interviews before. It's like people just want to fanboy rage and don't want to use common sense. I mean, if you want me to, I can go dig up the interviews where he has stated that they took these things out because... It, because of the lag online and it would be too complicated and what some excuse you gave so I mean all this Xbox crap this this put a rest to it Xbox only helps it gives the, um, the developers more sales they make more money in other words more Naruto games for us all right that's my rant on all the console bashing and finally this last piece of information from the from the new interview today um uh, the new awakening feature with the R3 where you can awaken at any point in time in in the battle It doesn't matter if the, the match just started you can awaken now at first I was a little worried about it I'll admit but after reading the interview um, I'm more satisfied and more comfortable with the awakening from the start because not only uh, The way he said it make it seems as if you'll only be able to awaken once after you awakening you'll be weaker as in like you'll take more damage and I guess move more slower so um so it's it's a very it's, a, it's I guess it's balancing I guess you can say so it's more strategy you really have to think about whether or not you need to awaken and if you just go around awakening all really nilly um you know it could really hurt you so I just hope it doesn't turn into a whoever awakens first loses thing you know what I'm saying but um I guess we'll see what time about. Anyway, um, I don't want to keep this this discussion going on too much longer. I'm um, trying to keep it under 10 minutes. So, uh, so yeah, tell me what you guys think about all the things I just talked about. Um, tell me if you agree with me. Hey, tell me if you don't agree with me. Feel free to voice your opinion. Um, this is PS360 HD2, and I'm out. Oh, before I go, uh, I will post the link to the new interview in the description below, so you can go and check it out if you want. Um. Peace, guys.